I can't stop thinking of all the neighborhoods away from the glamour of Miami Beach on the mainland that are going to be impacted by the rising oceans coming up through the porous limestone. Of the nearly three million people who live in the Miami area, more than half are lower income or immigrant. What are they going to do? I arrange a meeting with Nicole Hernandez Hammer, a scientist who left academia to work as a climate activist here. So great to meet you. What a gorgeous summer day in the middle of December. Yeah, <laughs> is yeah we this still natural? got a little bit of flooding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what, now what, what's happening here? Is, it, is this water? This is high tide. This is just high tide? Yeah, and this, this is not... actually a foot less than last month. Crazy, because yeah. I thought that maybe this was like leftover from rain. No, this no. is today. Wow. And no rain. It's really tough because I think sometimes people see the flooding and they think maybe a water main broke or it's just bad infrastructure. They're not making the connection between the climate change and what's happening here. Just to be clear, we're pretty far away from the beach right now. We are on the mainland now. Miles away from the beach, and yet water comes all the way here through the, the floor, basically. Through the limestone, yeah. And it carries with it whatever is sitting on the surface and slightly underground, like septic tanks Yikes. or auto shops and whatever they've got coming out of their place, yeah. and it collects. It's like biohazard stuff. Yeah. It can be toxic. It's got all sorts of bacteria, and people don't know about it. So they're walking around in the water, their kids are splashing in the water. It's a public health concern. Damn. And we're talking about people that have lived here their whole lives, and it's probably tough for them to wrap their head around that, right? I think there's a certain degree of denial. Yeah. I think people feel like, you know, the elected officials or state agencies are going to figure it out. It can't possibly be that Miami's going to be underwater. Is and the so, governor hearing your voice? Is, is there a movement in the, in the... He heard it, but he's pretending he didn't hear it. Right. <laughs> a group of my colleagues had a meeting with him, and he listened, and then they left, and then that was it. And nothing changed. Yeah.